I met a lot of girls. So in fact, I met so many girls, I didn't know which one to pick from. Having said that, I went to the tour, met a wonderful woman. I am divorced now, I mean, but I was married for about nine years. You met her there and you got married to her for nine years, right? Yes, on the social, so you met her on the social. Yes, I did. I met a lot of girls. So in fact, I met so many girls, I didn't know which one to pick from. <laughs> so I had, in fact, they were knocking. It's funny you should say that. My, okay. I, I, my daughter at the time was six years old. I put her on the airplane to see her grandmother and grandfather. I said bye bye at Orlando International. Wow, okay, wow. So you believed that this was going to work and you wanted that. I knew it was going to work. I mean, and when I got there, they were fantastic. I mean, the, just like you and Manuela, and I'll tell the guys a little bit more about you, Maria and Manuela and what you've done for me. But I was a believer because I'd already had a friend, Bobby, who had, and he was a straight shooter. He said to me, Sam, you got to take it from me. You've been through a million girlfriends. I've had, you've had them all and you're not married. There's something else that's missing. Why don't you find a nice woman? So that's what happened. I got on the airplane, found a wonderful girl. There were so many choices. I mean, I just didn't know what to do. They were knocking, they were knocking at my door in the hotel room because they just <laughs> wanted a nice guy. They're not after anything. Anyway, so I ended up, so now, you know, I got a beautiful, At the time I met Maria, Anna Maria I had a five and seven year old and uh, they live with me half custody. I Sorry got... to interrupt you one more time. So with the person you met in Peru, you got married, you got two children and then you moved. A good friend of mine over a cup of coffee one morning, he said, Sam, are you ready to get out of the US? And I said, I am. He said, you want to change? I said, I do. He said, let's go to Medellin. If you go to Medellin, I'm going to Medellin. So it's funny how things happen. I'm pretty impulsive. I don't waste time. If, I, if there's something that I want, I'm going to go and get it. I'm going to go out and find it. And guess what? I'll let you know in a minute what I found. You're about to meet her in just a minute. And I found that because of you guys. But anyway, so the long story short, packed up our bags, put everything on a boat, Put the furniture, put the kids. I had a little one. I had a one-year-old and a two-and-a-half-year-old. We put them on an airplane, packed everything up and moved to Medellin, Colombia. The most beautiful city in the world. I would never have left. Only reason I left is if things didn't work out, then things don't always work out. I mean, guys, come on. You know, it is what it is. I got divorced and for a single dad, it wasn't the easiest to be in Colombia. America is set for single dads with kids. So I moved back to the US, but I knew that a Colombian girl was for me. And I knew the Colombian culture. I lived there for years. I lived, I met, and I know the people. They are warm, they're warm-blooded, they're wonderful. They can be hot-blooded too, don't get me wrong. You cross their paths in the wrong way, hey, God bless you. But hey, <laughs> that's, why, that's why you need to be a good man. You know what, keep your eyes to yourself and don't look at all the other beautiful girls in Colombia. When you've got a beautiful one, you better keep your hands and your eyes to yourself because that's what I've learned. Otherwise, mm -hmm. guess what? Those Colombian girls and like all Latin girls and like all girls in the whole world, they want their own man and they're going to keep him. And they'll stay with you forever. So why did I pick Colombia over John's advice to, to go to something different? No, I know the Latin culture. I know the people, they're after nothing. You know, the, the guys, and I hate to say this, the guys there are not the nicest partners. They're not the best husbands. They don't really have any respect for their women. And I'm not saying it in a bad way. It is what it is, it's just the way it is. When you are respectful and they find a nice man, they're never gonna let you go. They're gonna stay with you mm. through thick or thin. And I think I've got the right one. Uh, you have a great one. You, <laughs> She's well, amazing. Thanks you. Well, thanks to you and Manuela. <laughs> you too can experience the romantic adventure of a lifetime. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. 
Interested? Learn more at medianwomen.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.